So Jeremy Corbyn is still very much the favourite tonight to be carried back into part power on that growing wave of support from those being labelled the Corbynistas. But who are they and what motivates them? Our reporter Kieran Jenkins has been out and about meeting some of the leader's most ardent followers and has this report. Hello. Hi. Are you the singer? Uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> the scout singing sensation. Yeah. Lisa Dempster is such an admirer of Jeremy Corbyn. As you'll soon hear, she's written a song for him. We meet at her sister and nephew's house in North Yorkshire. He makes a lovely cup of tea. Yeah. So, yeah. so Michael's your host this weekend. Yeah. And he's a very good host as well. And it's not long before the conversation gets on to you know who. Yeah. Who, would you, who would you like to be leader of the Labour Party? Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see you working on him. Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Did you ever imagine you'd fall in love with someone like Jeremy Corbyn? No, I've never thought I'd have a thing for a politician ever. No, no. Why? What is uh, it? It's not. It's not the the image, obviously, because as I say, it, it is like sort of having a crush on your dad. I think it's the whole. It's the charisma. It's the honesty, the integrity. This is your Jeremy Corbyn song. Yeah. Did you sing it to Jeremy Corbyn? Yes. And you held his hand? Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't remember that, but my daughter said, yeah, I really? it is. Yeah, I held his hand as I was singing it to him. So I'm Jeremy Corbyn then? Yeah. How, how okay. do you have Sort of, I'd hold his hand like that. Jeremy's standing strong, and we know that he will make it. Although you're doing him wrong, so wrong. Lisa only joined Labour a few weeks ago. Already she has her own video channel singing Jeremy Corbyn's praises. It's a side of Aunt Lisa, nephew Michael, and his friend Dean haven't seen before. What do you reckon? Wow, <laughs> that was good though. Yeah. <laughs> she got Britain's Got Talent. In Hackney, East London, nobody looks like bursting into song. I wouldn't say everything about his leadership has been great, but. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I support him and I think there's more good than bad overall. All right, welcome. To this the... is an educational evening organised by Momentum, the mighty activist group that emerged from Corbyn's first leadership campaign. But I'm intrigued by the new members among them, tens of thousands signing up even as Labour turns in on itself. The Labour Party is crumbling and he's the man in charge of it. <laughs> and you're all telling me he's competent? Uh, on, on what grounds do you say the Labour Party is crumbling? I, 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 I keep hearing on the news that um, hundreds of thousands of people have joined in the last few months. One recent recruit is Amy, a 23-year-old teaching assistant. What's drawn you to, to Jeremy Corbyn? Basically, um, just feeling like he is representing my politics in a mainstream political party. And that's essentially just the fact that he's anti-austerity, anti-racism, anti-sexism. What about this idea that the yeah. deputy leader of the Labour Party has come out with? That there are old hands, maybe some of them here, Trotskyites, yeah. Bolsheviks, yeah. twisting I, your arm. It's so patronising to me. I'm a young um, person. I'm, I, I make decisions autonomously. In fact, Corbynistas have been called all sorts of things. There's a lot of things that are said about Jeremy Corbyn supporters that just aren't really true. Um, uh, yeah, there's a perception that, for example, they're very London, and they're not. They're more likely to be female. They're not really. It's pretty much the same as Labour Party members on average. There's the, yeah, they're a bunch of trots and people didn't even vote Labour before. That's not true either. The... Would you say you're middle class? No, working class. Northern? Uh, yes. Right. Sharon from York ticks a lot of the pollsters' boxes. I do think he's a good leader, yes. You think he could be Prime Minister? I do, yes. I've read through the ten pledges that he's put forward and I think um, the idea of um, housing for all... Uh, are these pa policies though or are they pipe dreams? I think we have money to spend on things like, you know, wars, um, tax cuts for the rich, so why is there not money to help people to have what is a very basic requirement? What is it that you think that he can do for you? For me, um, I consider myself a normal person, whatever the word normal is. I'm not, I'm not rich, I'm not, I work with children with disabilities and I've done that for 25 years because I love it. I'm seeing the cuts and the cuts and the cuts. And Fellow Corbynistas, when they insist he's just not good enough. Whatever has stirred in people like Lisa, his opponents would say the rest of the country aren't feeling it. The Corbynistas, though, they're voting for him anyway. <laughs> 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 Just keep going. Okay, so 
Sunshine.